trying to pour back into yourself as a social worker as a millennial trying to mini adult now like i'm trying to navigate through adulthood and that's the struggle within itself y'all when i say i am so pissed right now like i swear every time you think life is okay something happens Hey family, what's going on? It's your girl Tyson the Moss and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about social wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, entrepreneurship advice. So any of those things that interest you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you can become part of the family too. And for all my return viewers, hey family, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. So as you see, y'all, we are getting ready to pop off this self-care vlog. So this is just going to be a bunch of different things of me just doing things. So just unwind and practice self-care, all that good stuff or whatnot. Right now, I'm currently on my way to go get a yoni steam with my girl Tierra. So I'm going to take y'all along for that. And then whatever else this vlog entails as far as self-care related things will be added into it. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of that, make sure to watch all the way to the end, like the video, and I'll check in with y'all in a second. Yeah, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dogs that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, right at it, got it, gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. checking in after i got my hair done it looks so good she definitely snatched the edges right on up honey it's a technique for me okay so i'll probably keep this in for about like two weeks or whatnot i'm just tired of walk around looking dusty so we getting it popping for this self-care maintenance vlog so i'm getting ready to um 
I think I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done or whatever. I just left the outlets. I picked me up a little goodie, like, you know, just treating myself. Cause I've been in a little funky mood. So I got this cute purse. And it's like a bucket bag and it has a small handle and then it also can be worn as a crossbody. So yep, I got that. And then I also picked up something from Sephora. I got this Fenty Butter Drop. Y'all know this is my fave right here. So yes, picked up some more of that. And then that's about it, y'all. So I just wanted to check in. Because I know it's been a lot of like montages and stuff over the vlog or whatever. But your girl just wanted to let y'all know that I was here. Oh, and um, Shaquille, I think that's her name. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. I'm going to have her business stuff down below if you guys want to book with her. She's in the 757 area or whatnot. So she does all different kinds of braids or whatever. So definitely make sure y'all book with her or whatever. But anyways, yes, y'all. I'll probably check in with y'all once I get my um eyebrows done or another day. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing just as nice in both ears. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm getting ready to get a massage. I'm very excited. This is my first time getting an actual body massage. So I'm just hoping that it makes me feel more relaxed and calm and stuff. Because I've just been very tense and on edge. So yes, as I showed you guys, I'm at the Asian Massage Center. So hopefully it goes well. I got a coupon. Y'all better stop sleeping on coupons. Save y'all a little bit of coin or whatnot. I am never too crazy to save me some money. So that's why I found this place at. I think the massage was originally like $80. And I ended up getting it for like $40. And then I used a coupon code too. So I'm trying to pull it up so I can show it to you guys. But it's not showing up right now. But anyways, I just wanted to talk with you guys before I go in there. So I would definitely try to get footage if I can. I'm not sure if they let you record and stuff in there. But I'll definitely be coming back to let you guys know how it went. So see you on the set. Falling on the Las Vegas trip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the water in my shorty back Know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she got a choice Keep it coming, you a rider It's that room I suffer, Jay, and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Checking back in when I tell you that lady did not have to zoom me like that. Like, she massaged legit, y'all, every part of my body. Now, for the people that's wondering, not that part, but every part of my body, like hands, toes, she was getting it, even massaging my ears. Like, I mean, it was just different. So, I'm like, gosh, I didn't even know. People massage stuff like this, but I mean, I've never got a massage before either, so of course I wouldn't know. But I mean, it felt so good. It was one certain part she was doing that it was hurting a little bit, but I think that has something to do with the fact that I've been having like nerve issues in my left arm or whatever. But child, she pulled the cranks, the yanks out of everything. Like she was not playing with me at all, and I was definitely here for it because it felt amazing. Like I definitely got to start getting. What in the world? My bad. I gotta start getting massages like every month. Like I honestly, I want to start getting every two weeks, but that's OD because can't nobody afford that. But again, like I said, definitely gotta start putting this in self care for sure because that felt so good. I needed that the way my body been feeling this stuff. But I just wanted to come back, check in with you guys, let you guys know if you're interested in getting a nice little massage. I went to the Asian Center. Like I said, all information will be. Um, down below as well but anyways y'all i'm getting ready to run a couple errands now um i didn't get to get my eyebrows on yesterday so i might get take y'all with me to go do that today and then after that not sure what else we are getting into so i will check in with y'all when we figure that out on the track
a bush that you prune to like keep it healthy or whatever. As long as those roots are in the ground and not being pulled out and reworked, you can cut off as many limbs, leaves, whatever as you want. That's our like self care. I'm I got little shears. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, implementing those self-care techniques. Right. It's trimming the growth that's stemming from these root issues. But it's going to grow back. Because mm. the roots are still in the ground. Right. Wow. I never thought about it like that. Wow. So it sounds like we need to shift our focus then to implementing strategies that will allow you to feel or take care of that feeling overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. So if I don't want you to feel like, oh, I made all this progress and now I'm just right back to the beginning. Yeah. No, this whole process is going to be like this. Yeah. It's not just straight up. Mm-hmm. And then two, that's the reason why the anxiety continues to persist Mm -hmm. it's because we are addressing one area which is the symptoms and we're not doing anything to change the cause of feeling overwhelmed right so there was a couple areas and we can work on these together occupational getting behind on notes, procrastinating, feeling overwhelmed. It's a large caseload anyway. Going right. to these people's homes, mm-hmm. like, it's a lot. Yeah. And the life changes with navigating adulthood and what responsibilities am I going to take on? What am I going to sacrifice to have a better future for myself? Oh, that's such right. a beautiful way to put it. I, I was trying to find the right words to figure out, like, that never so but that is that's it navigating adulthood like literally realizing like hey like you're not a young you're not in your early 20s no more like you're in your late 20s and you got to figure some things out like yeah it's all, it's about time to leave the nest yeah but i mean that's according to society i yeah. kind of disagree i think people should leave when they're ready and able to right like you shouldn't go out there um like if you want to pursue your master's degree because it's going to increase your income right you shouldn't be judged for staying at home longer to accomplish that right yeah that and while sense. everyone else is out there struggling with their full bills and full responsibilities um you're over here making moves. Yeah. So whatever you decide, whether it's to stick with the job and go towards moving out, that would be sacrificing the time you have to pursue bettering your career. Or if you choose to better your career, and that would be sacrificing your individual freedom Mm -hmm. and maybe a sense of peace or control that you want to have. So it's all about navigating that. It's just, oh, yeah. Like, why can't it just be easy? Good morning, y'all. And welcome to another day in the self care vlog. We are dwindling down. I think I'm probably just going to add maybe like one more clip, which is when I go get my eyelashes done tomorrow. Or whatnot, but y'all, therapy was so good today, as y'all seen. She did a really good visualization kind of technique where she showed me a glass, right? And I've kind of seen this before, but I never looked at it in my own life. And she literally, you know, took the water and had the glass and was like, okay, for each area of your life that is stressing you out, tell me when to stop. And she would pour occupation, pour. Uh, adulting poor uh health issues poor and i'm just like by the time she was finished mine was damn near to the top and then on top of that 
she was like, because if I find myself like having an anxiety attack or getting very stressed, she was like, sometimes we might think that it's just this situation that's scaring us when really we're already on the edge. It was just this one thing that just took us over. So like, instead of me like looking at it, like, okay, I went to the doctor's office and I had anxiety attack because I got scared, which really I'm not scared at that. It's just that now everything is showing up because I'm, my glass is so full now and here goes another thing boom and then everything started spilling over so i'm like wow like that was just a really dope way to show me visually all of the stress that i just been dealing with lately um this week has been really like honestly really bad for me i'm not gonna lie i've been in a really bad space mentally i ain't been really vlogging and stuff like that but Today just gave me some sense of re refocus, hope, and understanding that I can get through this. I can navigate with the tools that I have and stuff. I just have to keep the faith even though sometimes you get so... I don't even remember where I was at, y'all. But long story short, um, yeah, like I just... And she brought up another good point too, like... There's no way I can get to the root of the issue if I'm continuously just looking at the symptoms and like, okay, why am I having these symptoms and I'm not dealing with what's starting the symptoms to occur, which is the roots, these reoccurring things that I'm kind of not addressing. I'm just so concerned about the symptoms that I'm experiencing. So, um, yeah, I just definitely, I needed that for sure. I really needed that. And I'm really going to just do better with just trying to actually use what's given to me and um hope it works from there but anyways let me get off of this y'all know i can talk too much and i didn't want to make this vlog extra extra long i just wanted to keep it about self-care maintenance trying to pour back into yourself as a social worker as a millennial kind of mini adult now like i'm trying to navigate through adulthood and that's the struggle within itself but i'm still trying to find myself and keep my sanity so <laughs> Just showing y'all the ins and outs of everything, for real, for real. But anyways, I'm going to get off of this, like I said. I probably will pick you guys back up tomorrow. And, yeah. See y'all later. Y'all, when I say I am so pissed right now, like, I swear, every time you think life is okay, happens like i need y'all to look and see what i just did like i'm 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 literally in shock right now like, i literally backed into this wall and now the back of my shit is I could literally cry right now. Like at this point, <laughs> just throw my life away. Cause, well, let me not say that. Excuse me, little guy. I'm just. I can't even cry because it's like my it's just been so going through it lately anyway i just i don't even know if i even have any more tears to cry at this point i i cannot believe i just did this all i was trying to do was find a part and i backed into this freaking truck like i don't even know how <laughs> Oh my god, I, I gotta get off of this. Bye, y'all. Oh, you lead me to
when my lash is done when life gives you lemons you just make lemonade honey okay as y'all seen in that last clip i was distraught pissed all different kinds of things in one but you know i just made the best out of it i'm like you know what it could be worse i could have gotten a whole accident i could have been hurt anything so i'm just like thank you god um you know being grateful for what i do have and just not focusing on the negatives so i ended up getting my car fixed that same exact day i went and got to an auto glass place and they fixed it for me it wasn't that expensive but it was just still frustrating because i'm like i'm shucking out money for something that i just if i would have just took a little bit more time wouldn't happen sometimes you got to just stay in your own lane when you start going into other lanes and you're thinking that lane's about to be faster like you know how we be driving and then we get in another lane thinking it's gonna go faster and then the car beside us is going fast my bad y'all i gotta get another memory car but as i was saying when you start switching lanes just stay in your own lane because eventually you're gonna catch up to everybody else don't try to force it switch stuff up trying to go faster in a rush because you will end up somewhere where you don't need to be at so all in all to say that i hope you guys enjoyed this self-care vlog i'm just out here sitting on the porch which is very therapeutic for me like i love sitting outside listening to nature listening to music just vibing out chilling it's something that's free 99 and it makes me feel good so i hope you guys enjoyed this up and down self-care maintenance vlog <laughs> if you made it all the way to the end be sure to subscribe to the family because why wouldn't you want to subscribe girl okay and guys because i know i got some guys subscribed to me too hey y'all but anyways yes thank you guys so much for always supporting me and rocking with your girl and you already know i will see you in my next video bye y'all